We have in the past covered the remarkable remnants of the amphitheaters of antiquity. Noting the still existing, yet now lost technological accomplishments present at such sites, such as the polygonal flooring still present within Delphi, Greece. Yet most conveniently, now not still in existence at many sites worldwide, as if removed at a later, more modern date, possibly to cover up these truly impressive sites' real age, and indeed the evidence which suggests they were regardless of academic claims, the feats of a now lost, yet once highly capable, and arguably global, super civilization. One site with a particularly impressive legacy is that of the Petra Theater. Now largely claimed as a 1st century AD Nabataean theater, it is situated some 600 meters from the center of Petra. A substantial part of the theater was somehow, just like that of the rest of Petra itself, once carved straight out of the solid rock. Yet no less impressive are the sections constructed prior to this, such as the Scana and exterior wall, which were constructed not from solid rock, but regardless, clearly by highly capable individuals, with the intention of giving the theater a long life, something they succeeded at no end. In addition, the theater's auditorium consisted of three horizontal sections of seats, separated by passageways and seven stairways, all constructed later to ascend. The theater could accommodate a number of approximately 8,500 people, more than the estimated number of Ammon Theater. Although Petra Theater follows similar architectural patterns of Roman theaters, which it must be noted were all somehow constructed to enhance their acoustic resonance, is now attributed to the Nabataean Kingdom due to the floral textures found within, which do indeed match this once great civilization's artistic styles. Its characteristics, however, although claimed as being copied from other sites, now claimed as Roman, was as mentioned, carved from solid stone something amphitheaters of Rome were not. Who built Petra Theater, indeed who built Petra, or the other amphitheaters around the globe, all possessing this advanced acoustic ability? Where did this knowledge come from? Where did this knowledge get lost through history? It is a quest which we find highly compelling.